Welcome to ESPN College Football presented by Five Hour Energy. The Wolverines and Hoosiers have already won three games apiece. That's as many games as both teams won all of last season. Michigan now ranked number 23 in the country, taking on Indiana. It's clock time. High snap. Evans decides to pitch it to Doss, and the wide receiver takes it in untouched into the end zone. A terrific opening drive for the Hoosiers. Nick Freeland kicks it off. Michigan gets the ball for the first time. Stoneham takes it inside the 10, gets a nice lane up the right side, and is tripped up just short of the 40-yard line, but a nifty 35-yard return. Well, will see how he can handle this pressure being in here. Listed at 6'1", 188, which is generous. Carlos Brown, the talented running back, a lot of room. Three down the left side, one guy to beat, and he is dragged down. But not before he's into the end zone. Carlos, Carlos Brown with an electrifying run after the catch. Yeah, and watch the wide receivers down here at the bottom of the screen. This is where it goes. Just freeze it right there, fellas. Look at the blocking here and the blocking there. That's Martavius Odoms at the top and Hemingway at the bottom, and that creates the seam for Brown to hit the home run. And here's another look at those blocks. There's Odoms at the top. And you're going to see Hemingway's block show up right there at the bottom. That created drive. Earlier, all bags were prohibited. School official says this will continue throughout the season. Forcier threw a touchdown pass the last time he threw one up. This time, Ray Fisher on Greg Matthews, and there are flags down. Corner spot there the way is he no went. foul on the play. Incomplete pass. Second down. Well, the call was you know what? I didn't see it. You were farther away. And we're going to let that one go. It might have well been interference. It looked like Fisher had his right arm hooked on the receiver, uh, Greg Matthews. But they take it back on second down. Five-yard gain for Carlos Brown. Third and four. Forcier using that arm strength to throw it outside to Martavius Odoms for a Wolverine first down. I cannot tell you how good it was. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Number 92, defense. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic push down. And that's the, the penalty. Time, but, uh, he's taken full advantage of it this season. Once again, Brown showing his great shiftiness, and now it's the speed. Carlos Brown has scored his second touchdown of the game. Here, here is Kevin Koger. Watch him come block. He's going to block the safety right here on an outside zone play. And this is the one that really springs Carlos Brown right here. See him get past him and get that edge. And then a nice block on the outside as well. And it's off to the races for Carlos. Indiana runs its Wildcat. Willis trying to get to the outside, and he does. Willis dives for the end zone. Pushed out of bounds by Wolfett. Nick Freeland has had two field goals blocked this year because they were very low. This one from 24 out. Plenty of height, plenty of distance. And Indiana leads for the second time today. Starting for David Mulk out four to six weeks after foot surgery. Corsio moving in the pocket, has to redirect a couple of times. Puts up a floater, and it is picked off by Nicholas Slager. A pass that never should have been thrown. Turns right for Indiana. Here comes the blitz. Mouton going after Chapel. Affected the throw. It was caught momentarily and then fell incomplete. Turner. Freeland back in there. Has a 24-yarder and now a 20-yarder. We did not see him until this second quarter. He drops the snap. Picks it up. And this is where he can hurt you. He can mess up and still get five yards. Second and five. Robinson, who's got a good arm, completes it, but a terrific hit on Kelvin Grady. Third and eight for Robinson. He has time to throw, and he lifts it high. Nice catch by Cobra, the tight end. First down for the Wolverines. Good catch by Cobra to adjust in the air for a 35-yard gain. Robinson showing his dual threat ability. Second and three. Meyer up the middle and into the end zone. Playing.
hang on a bad ankle, limited in practice this week. Looked terrific. Michigan back on top. Seconds left to go. This is a 30-yard attempt for Freeland. And he knocks it home. Seesaw battle, Indiana goes back on top with 16 seconds left. Matt Mayberry, he had responsibility for the quarterback and he did a great job. Carlos Brown, who was electric in the first quarter with the carry, picked up seven, another update. Thank you, back live at Michigan. Kevin Grady, stopped by, by Will Patterson, but that's a Michigan first down. Boy, do they need him. About half that so far today. 4CA throws it, completes it. To the other Grady, Kelvin Grady, picks up the first down. Brown trying to get behind his big blockers. <laughs> when uh, the Wolverines were playing. Oh, nice cut by Carlos Brown. Goes inside all the way down to the 30. Another first down. Brown scored on a 41-yard touchdown run, and before that, a 61-yard catch and run. Here's Fortier showing that he can do it with his feet as well. Another bad snap, though. Brandon Miner, the tailback, gets it. Big hole on the left side, an Indiana player. Middleton lost his helmet for Indiana. Brown takes it inside the 10. Maybe. Fake to Brown, Forcier has room to run. Gets a block, leaps into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan! Forcier on the quarterback draw, spins and gets in for the two-point conversion. Dave Forcier just is taking over this ball game. Here he goes, airborne for the touchdown. And then the two-point conversion, he tries to go airborne again and gets an assist. And Michigan takes the lead. So, wow, that's different. Yeah, different story totally. He blushed a little bit, too. Wow, big run out for Darius Willis. Willis all the way down the left sideline. Nobody's going to catch him. Darius Willis scores on an 85-yard touchdown run. Indiana trying to hold on to this four-point lead. Chapel wrapped up and taken down. Ryan Van Bergen beat his blocker, and Chapel had no chance. It's Sam for a 12-yard loss. Third and 23. They go the safe route with Burgess. Hangs on to it, only gets a couple. Right at midfield. Brown, who had a couple of big plays early in this game, scored on a 60 nice play, but he and Jamie Curlo, Curlo, those bookends have done a great job. Forcier improvising right up the middle, slides down for a first down. Hand off to Miner. Oh boy, he took Mayberry for a little bit of a ride. Indiana rolled in some fresh defensive linemen. Robinson goes right through that defensive line, just inside the 30 for another Wolverine first down. Big rush coming from Indiana. Forcier going in the end zone. He has a man open for the touchdown. Martavius Odoms with the score. Forcier does it again. Over the top right here, you see the inside cut. That turns Polk around, and then the perfect throw from Tate Forcier. No pressure. Great job by that offensive line of picking up the blitz, giving Forcier the time. Spectacular route by Odoms. Ben Chapel completes it. Jamal Belcher fighting for the ball, and they're going to say it's intercepted. Donovan Warren came in and took it away from Belcher. Bill Lynch incensed. Oh, and he should be. At that Warren is able to rest it away, but that should definitely be Indiana football. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Our final score, Michigan comes from behind to beat Indiana 36-33.